In this movie, we will further modify the list in the related links section of our project. We are going to transform the display nature of the list and add some graphics to our external links. So first, let's go ahead and change how the list behaves. Now by default, you'll notice that we have an unordered list and our unordered list has our disk bullets. Well, we're going to go ahead and get rid of our disk bullets. So we'll jump into our CSS and move on down to the related section and add in a new rule to target unordered lists inside of the related section. So then I'll go ahead and set up that I want the list style to be none. I'll go ahead and save that and just refresh and there we go. Now we see that we do not have our bullets. However, we still have this huge gap between the left edge of our box and the left edge of our text. So let's go ahead and take care of that by adjusting our padding. So I'll just go ahead and jump down and set my padding left to 0.5M. I'll go ahead and save that and jump back into my browser and refresh and there we go. So there I've actually changed how our list is displaying. So now that we have our list without bullets, we want to add on our little graphic to indicate that this is an external link. However, we don't want this to be applied to all of our links, nor do we want it to be applied to every single related link section on all of the pages of our website because we do have those as repetitious elements on our different pages. So we're going to need to stage our rules a little bit more. To do this we will actually need to go to our HTML and modify it. So here I already have the HTML open for our OpenSparks section 10 index page and I need to find the body tag here and add in an ID equal to home. Now the reason why I'm doing this is so that I can uniquely identify the related section on the index page through the use of an ID selector. So by doing ID home, ID related, and then all of the links inside of the related links, I can effectively target just those related links on the home page. So once I have my ID home set up, I'll go ahead and save it. Now it is a good idea in general to add these ID attributes to your body tags so that you can do this type of ID selection, but it will also allow end users to create styles for those specific pages. Of course it's not something that's used all that often but by adding in these ID attributes it does make it possible. So I'm going to go ahead and jump back here into my CSS and then move down here to create my rule. So the rule says home and then inside of the home look for the related and then we're going to go ahead and target all of the A tags. We're targeting all of the A tags because that's all that's in our related section. Now not only are we targeting the A tags, but we want to manipulate what comes after the A tag. So in our case we actually want to generate some content. and We're going to be using our content property and then I want to have one space between the description of the link and our graphic. So I put in that space in between the quotation marks and then I set up the URL that the graphic is located at. So we have a folder that's containing our shared images throughout our OpenSparks project. So I need to go up two folders and look for images and then the ext link for external link PNG and there we go. So now if I save that and jump over to my browser and refresh 
I now see that I have this nice little graphic that's showing up for all of my external links. And this is actually a graphic that's more or less similar to some of the other graphics you might have encountered on other websites, so it is kind of a popular thing to do. Now that concludes this look at transforming our related links section.